Hi, my YouTube people. Miss you guys so much. Had a very long week. But here I am, bringing another video. And we're going to bring the Spanish flan. Silky, soft, moist, beautiful. Caramel on top. It's just delightful. So, let's get started. Hola mi gente de YouTube, vamos a hacer un flan Quick and easy, we're making a Spanish flan Bring this down, first we're going to caramelize the sugar Make it as the caramel that we need Aquí hay una taza de azúcar Y le he hecho mucho azúcar because I like a lot of caramel No, quiten los ojos del azúcar. Don't take your eyes off the caramel. Because we don't want it to burn. No queremos que se queme. And while I'm standing here, mando saludo. I'm going to say hi to my people from Peru, Mexico, Colombia, Argentina, Ecuador, Chile, Venezuela, New Jersey, New York, Florida, and Tampa, Brazil. Todas mis personas de Peru, Mexico, Colombia, Argentina, Chile, Venezuela, New Jersey, Nueva York, Florida, y Tampa, y Brasil, que tenemos nueva persona en nuestra familia. Y quiero bienvenir. I want to welcome everybody that's in my channel I'm trying to bring quick and easy recipes and from where I am Puerto Rico and easy to make <laughs> this is just easy one two three it's always good to know there's always people behind you and there's always people you know willing to learn how to cook new dishes siempre bueno saber que hay personas que quieren aprender a hacer cosas nuevas en la cocina y le doy la bienvenida so remember do not take your eyes off the sugar no quite los ojos de esta azúcar hay que tener mucho cuidado gotta be very careful sugar is temperamental it burns quick la azúcar es media temperamental se quema rápido por eso hay que estar pendiente a ella that's why we have to keep our eye on it <laughs> so we see where it is turning so. not high heat a little bit low once you see that it start caramel you bring down the heat low bajamos nuestra fogata más baja porque ella sigue calentando y el azúcar ya sigue derretiendo no se preocupe. You're going to have these little balls. Don't worry about it. Don't, don't think it's not going to happen. It's going to happen. Trust me. Si tú deben estas pelotitas aquí de azúcar, no se preocupen. Que sí se va a convertir en un caramelo. Don't worry. And you see my grandma do it. And I'm like, Grandma, that sugar is no good. No, that's how it's supposed to happen. She will let me know. Yo le preguntaba a mi abuelita que por qué estaba, que eso no estaba bien. Y me dijo, no, eso tiene que estar así. En lo que ella me invita se convierte en un caramelo. You learn what your grandmas. Uno aprende con sus abuelos. Y con su mamá. Y con sus mothers. Well, some mothers like to cook, some don't, you know. We can't knock them out. Hay algunas que le gustan cocinar y hay otras que no. Okay. Keep your eyes on it. Don't let go. And keep mixing. Mm -hmm. 
never letting it go. So it's coming. Little, little, but it's coming. Let's go, sugar. part of the sugar. that caramel that we need for it to get. You see we see still some bumps, but don't worry about them. They're going to disappear. I'm just helping it out. You cannot stop staring. Por eso ustedes no pueden dejar de dejar de voltear. Tienen que estar todo el tiempo. You gotta be staring constantly because we don't want our sugar burning either. It's almost there. Sugars at the edges of this thing. Mm. Yes, that's what we want. Our sugar to dissolve all these little pieces of sugar that's left. We're almost there. to be there. Okay, we're there. Quickly shut off the, uh, the stove. Apagamos la estufa rapidito. Porque si lo, if you leave it on, it's going to continue to cook and it's going to burn. We don't want it to burn. Sugar will dissolve very quickly. Now let's rip this around. And around. Now 
know, I usually put it back in my pot so it could cool off really quick. Okay, so we have, we're not going to put it on the oven. We have these pots. I sent for them in Puerto Rico because they use these kind of pots in, in the bakeries over there. So this is full of water because this is going to do this effect like in the oven. Esto va a hacer el mismo efecto como si estuviera en el horno. Pero esto se llama baño de maría. Because in the bottom you have water and this is going to boil and it's going to cook in our flan under the vapor. So it's going to do the same, same thing. But it's going to be on top stove instead of oven. Okay? Va a ser lo mismo que en el horno, solamente que el agua, el agua de maría va a cocinar nuestro flan en vapor. Nice. Ahora, vamos a hacer nuestro flan. A esto le vamos a echar los cuatro huevos Our tea, two teaspoons usually I always put two teaspoons of vanilla my eye and our con the envelope milk condensed milk is next this is what uh, how many ounces 12 ounces so 12 ounces there and of course our sweet condensed milk see there's like four ingredients only to this now if you want to do the coconut one you have to use the cream of coconut the milk of coconut sweet condensed milk and a little bit of vanilla I usually add some cinnamon to the coconut one this is just typical for my island to use cinnamon. Okay, so here it goes. We have that. que le eché los cuatro huevos, una lata de leche condensada dulce, le eché una lata de vaporizada, leche vaporizada y dos cucharadas de vainilla. Eso es todo lo que se necesita para hacer un plan regular. You hear those crack? It's the sugar. <laughs> Don't worry about it. That's how it's supposed to sound. So now we're going to put it inside. And let's put the lid on. And that's it. 40 to 45 minutes. ¿Cómo vamos a saber que está ready? How we gonna know it's ready? We put a little fork through it. Comes out clean, it's good. So remember, si le pones una cucharita, un tenedorcito, y pasa en el medio, está limpiecito, ya está ready. Bueno, we should be back in 45 minutes. See you then. Okay, so 45 minutes have passed. And this is how our flan looks. And I was just testing it. Oh, 
Okay. Beautiful. So, I'm happy. So now we're gonna. Está bien. 45 minutes han pasado. Now we're gonna put it in the refrigerator for two hours. So everything can firm up and gets cold and all that deliciousness inside. So I'll have on the for two hours. And I should be back with you guys in two hours. It should be nice, caramel. Tiene que estar bien carameladito, bien bueno. Moist. So volvemos para atrás en dos horas. Gente, ya hemos volvido. We have come back. Took it out of the refrigerator. Lo hemos sacado del congelador. Y tiene cuatro horas. In the refrigerator. Tiene cuatro horitas en la nevera. So, let's do this. The moment of truth. El momento de la verdad. Platito. One, two, three. Uno, dos, tres. Vamos. <laughs> Yo vi que ese jugo salió por donde quiera. Quiera. Did I just saw that splash everywhere? Yes, I did. He get something. That means this time. Yes, it has a lot of syrup. Okay. So, let's do this. Uh, uh -huh. Yay! Beautiful! You see? We still have some caramel under the dish. Under the pot. Tenemos todavía caramelo aquí. So, si usted quiere echarle más caramelo, because ustedes ven, it has all that syrup. You see, it has all that syrup. So, so now we're going to cut it. See how silky it looks. Vamos a verlo, a ver cómo, cómo se ve. Cremosito, partidito. Vamos a ver. Vamos a ver, vamos a ver. Mmm. Nicely cut. Like that. Mm -hmm. Our plate. Now, if you want to put whipped cream on top, that's your choice. But we don't put whipped cream. We just put the syrup. And this is it. This is a caramel flan. show you guys. Let me get out of here. Show you how creamy that looks. See? It's fantastic. It's fantastic. And before our spoon falls, Oh my goodness. Awesome. This is great. No hay mejor cosa que un flan. Very well done. There's nothing better than a flan. Very well done. Now, you saw how easy I did it? And simple. So, from my kitchen to yours, if you like the flan, just practice it. It's just nothing. Put the eggs in there. Sweet condensed milk, evaporated milk, and vanilla. That's it. And you grind your sugar into make it a caramel nice. There we go. It's beautiful. Like I said, these pots can be found in Spanish stores. So this one is old. So I have this for a good seven years. So 
from our kitchen to yours. Then otra cocina la suya. I hope you did enjoy this video like I did. And I'm definitely going to enjoy my vlog. So, if you like the video, please subscribe. Ring that bell so every new other video that I do do, you would be the first one to receive it. With all our love to our new subscribers, thank you so much. We have 8,000 subscribers right now and I'm like, whoo, besides myself. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. It keeps me busy cooking because this is what I do. Well, enjoy.